Hi, I'm so excited to be here with you today because of Google Calendar. It's an incredibly fantastic tool. You will discover through this course how powerful it is. I am very excited to show you some of the best strategies for you and if you are factual assistant, they will help you to make management more accessible and more efficient for you and your customers and it will help your client succeed with the calendar hi a quick note english is not my mother tongue sorry you might find some incorrect pronunciation so turn on captions this labels are created captions automatically so it is not 100% accurate but I hope to help you understand the video and there at the bottom of the video player their option to speed up or slow down the video depending on if I speak too slowly or too quickly and on the side the other is a button where you can change the video quality to Udemy will soon prompt you to take a review if you haven't already your opinion really helps other students to find out if this is the course suitable for them as well as help us to know if we do a great course or not if you are not ready to leave a review you can click the ask me letter button but if you leave a review i really appreciate it and thank you i hope you enjoy the course hi i will talk about the advantage of google calendar one google calendar in the cloud mean you can access it from anywhere you don't have to download or install anything on your computer or phone and you can access your calendar from anywhere at any time. 2. Google Calendar is searchable and that is a really powerful tool. 3. Google Calendar lets you use reminders or notification and you can determined how you want to be reminded for google calendar is free 100 percent five google team at calendar is constantly making a great updates and change to the application and that's good thing because it constantly means that the program is becoming more strong hi you need a gmail account to access google calendar sign in if you have an account login to it if you don't have an account click create account myself I will create two account, one for me, one for a client. For example, username password. Next phone number code Best day
Janda X Yes I agree Now we are done with my account. Let's create an account for the client now. Click here. Another account. Create account myself. We will name the client for example Lion Wall and username password next phone number would verify per day ganda next yes I agree done to access Google Calendar or was it or calendar done hi in this video we will learn about the interface of google calendar here are the days and here are the times and here it is today in blue if you want to change your calendar view instead of a week click here for example choose a month and here if you want to the next month or the previous month and here are the holidays in your country and if you want to go the day on the calendar click here Hi, if you want to share your calendar with someone, this is the first way to add someone to your calendar. Click here, setting, share with a specific people, add people, add email, and choose permissions. This option means knowing when your time has been booked or made available on the calendar without seeing the names or details of your events. And this option means that it can see your calendar but without the ability to modify it. And this option means that 
it can be modified. And this option means that he can edit it and share it with other people. And click send. He will receive a message on his email that you have added him to your calendar. Let's see it now. And the second way to add someone to your calendar, it is adding a person to your calendar via a link. Click get shareable link. If you want to receive an access request, share this link with whoever you want and you will receive a request to the email to accept it and specify it as permissions and I will receive the message like this if you want to accept click here and choose permissions and send and when you accept it he will receive a message like this And if you want to share the link with a group of people without anyone being able to edit it, do this option and publish the link. But warning, making your calendar public will make an event visible to the world and anyone can access your calendar without your permissions including via Google search and if you are a factual assistant and want to request access to your client's calendar I will show you how now add calendar subscribe to calendar add email press enter and add a message and click request access request send now let's see what the message look like to the client if the client want to accept he will click here and he will choose permissions and make them and the virtual assistant will get a message that it has been at the calendar like this Hi, now I will explain how to create an event in more one way. The first method. Open Google Calendar. Click on Create. Or click the time of day you want. For example. And there is a possibility of adjusting everything, time and date, so don't worry. Add the event title. And click here to set the time. Here. 
if you want to adjust today click here and here and here's the time of the event we will start from to the hour I can edit it and here uh, is the time zone uh, if you want to change it to the time on another country and click here and ok and uh, if you want to repeat if you click this option the, uh, the event will repeat every day at the same until the day you shoot and uh, there is another way to repeat click here custom and if you want uh, this event to be repeated every week on a specific day and without end leave this option enabled and resemble and if you want it to the end do this and choose the date and if you want to save click done and you can add people to this event add email click enter done if this event for example an online meeting via google meeting click here and if it is not online you can edit it and here you can add location and here you can add description and here you can upload attachment to this event and click more options and and show the color and show the notification for example I will choose to receive a notification on my browser 10 minutes before this event and I can choose to receive an email notification 10 minutes before the event click here email and this is what the notification on my browser and this is how I receive the event email notification like this where attachment and click save if you want to send this person you add to the event a message telling them that you add them click send and invite event save he will receive a message like this and if you are receiving and do not want to send a message click don't send hi i really hope you have enjoyed the course so far 
but I kind of wanted to take this time if you could just a few seconds out of your day to write a quick review of the course as many of you already know positive review are really really important to the success of any course and um, like any other coach so I request all of you to write a quick review of the course and I want to thank you from the deep of my heart this actually means to me it is determines the success of the course and I am excited to work even more on the next videos and I have written here about how to write a review for my course anyway thank you very much again I appreciate your time and look forward to working with you more thank you the second method is through gmail click on the calendar logo and create an event the same thing but here while you add notification if you want to receive a notification on gmail click here and click here and the custom and choose instead of a notification choose a email and write time and you click done and you can click save or click here and it will take you to google calendar page hi the third method is through gmail convert a message to an event click here and click here create an event and the event is name with a message name automatically and it automatically adds the people he sends this message to the guest list and add the content of a message in details and here you can add people to this event and enter and here is the setting of for missions and here it starts on what time and what day and it will end on what day and what time and here is a time zone if for example you are a virtual assistant and you want to change the time to the time of for or of client you can from here and choose the time and click ok and if you want to repeat all day to this option and uh, choose the day on watch this is the repeat end and if you want to repeat this event on a specific day for a specific week click here the custom and, and if you don't want it to end leave this option and if you want to end click here 
and choose the date and click done and if the meeting is online on Google meeting leave it if not let it and here add location and here add notification the site can alert you via notification and you can choose to be alerted by email before the event and you can choose a color when you are done click save it will ask do you want to send the invitation emails to google calendar guest you can choose not to send and the event will be automatically added to it is calendar and if you choose to send it will receive a message like this send saving event sending the event is automatically added to the guest calendar if he chooses yes, this event okay. this event will display the color you choose and he will send you an email that he agree Accept. and if he shows maybe this event ok a black lines will appear inside and he will send you an email that he tentatively accept and if he choose no this event ok it will appear like this and he will send you an email that he refused hi we will now learn how to add official holidays click here and browse calendars of interest in and here click browse all and choose the country uh, you choose for example Denmark and and here choose your religion um, Muslim and here you can choose your favorite support and let's see what we have added
Hi, I will now explain the setting the cave setting. The language you can change from here and the country you can change and here the timing is 12 if you prefer 24 you can choose from here time zone you can change the time to wherever you want world clock you can activate it and add the time you want and it will appear in the calendar interface for example Madrid if Spanish. and event setting you can change it for as long as you like For example, and Notification I am prefer the alert you can also turn it off or turn on the notification on the desktop you can choose off or desktop notification I prefer the alert show decline event this is to show you who reviews to invite you to your event. Show week numbers. This is mean show the number week of year. Like this. and reduce the brightness of the past event this mean I choose it Saturday because in my country Saturday is the beginning of the week.